Hey, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Um, I, I just happened to notice that uh, there's an old movie festival play at the Film Forum this week. You wanna go? Sure. Cool, awesome. There's a bunch of movie options. I'll probably just go with something classic, like Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane is terrible. Pick a good movie. Good call, smart. My last meal on Earth. That's a great question. I'd go classic French. Ortolan, tiny songbird, eaten in a single bite, bones and all, an open defiance of God. <laughs> it's illegal to consume Ortolan, but I actually got academic dispensation to eat one once. Oh, the beak, very crunchy. That is literally the sexiest thing anyone has ever said. How were you single? You're not seeing anyone? No, there is nobody in my life. Sort of a sad thing to wink about, I realize now. Tomorrow's my anniversary with Kevin. I'd like to cook him an impressive breakfast. Could you help orient me with that process? I'd be honored. Preparing food for one's lover is the most intimate gift of all, aside from washing their hair. My name's Jennifer. You gave me social security. Oh, Jennifer. Hey, I need to talk to you. Uh-oh, it's happening. Remember when I took those bullets for you? Okay, let's do this. I think you're sweet. I didn't know it was you. When I jumped in front of those bullets, I didn't know who I was protecting. I just saw a gun and an NYPD vest, and so I dove on instinct. You've been extra nice to me because you thought I'd risk my life for you, but I only did what every good cop would do. When you finally go out with me, and you will, It'll be because I do things that only Charles Boyle would do. I don't know if I could do this. Listen to me, I am with you all night and nothing will distract me from my solemn vow to protect you, okay? Okay. Vivian, you look beautiful, I love your dress. Oh, you too, Charlie, you look so handsome. <laughs> Steady. Gina, open up. <sighs> Well, luckily I still have a key from when I lived here. Uh, here we go. Oh my God! What are you doing down here? Lunch is ready. I'm texting Marcus. Hmm, texting. That's the most intimate thing you can do to a lover with your fingers. Other than washing their hair. Hey! Are you guys wearing one scarf? Yep, Charles forgot his this morning. It's actually quite romantic. I think he did it on purpose. Uh, let's just say I definitely did it on purpose. <laughs> now twirl me, darling. You got it, sweet potato. <laughs> I can't get away from you. <laughs> All right, you guys are adorable. Tell me everything the doctor says about your uterine climate. Oh. And also that. You gotta have something weird and tragic going on. Nope, not unless you call hooking up with a girl at a funeral weird and tragic. Home run. Her name is Lieutenant Singh. She's super hot. We were seated next to each other two funerals ago, and there was hard eye contact all through Danny Boy. Last funeral, we made out in the parking lot. This time, something naughty this way comes. No. You know, in the court of Louis XI, women would only eat consomme because they were worried that chewing would give them wrinkles. Oh, I <laughs> love it when you talk broth. Hey, Charles, remember that dog we found on the train tracks? Was it inside out or just very badly burned? Inside out. Yeah, because there were things on the outside that definitely should have been on the inside. Definition of inside out. Bingo. Will you excuse us? Bernice and I are going to use the ladies' room. Ooh. Hurry back. Uh, oh, no. Jake, I can't stop looking at her butt. Yeah, you are definitely making her uncomfortable. And this beautiful, basketball-loving, diehard fan is tearing down my walls of defenses. If we find out that she is half-Jewish, we are all doomed. <sighs> I know. I borrowed the waiter's phone when you weren't looking and bought me and Vivian plane tickets to Rome. What? We leave in two hours. Terrible itinerary. Connect through Vietnam. Ooh, Charles, your jump off is here. Hello, detective. Hello, lieutenant. Real tragic about the captain. Yes, real tragic. I like the way your butt looks today. I've been doing lunges in the shower. Well, this got upsetting real quick. I want to live in this moment forever. I got us a motel room across the street. Meet me there in 15 minutes. I'll meet you all right. M-E-A-T. Still think it's creepy? Yes. Excuse me, is that Takiyaki? Yeah, from Senka, right down the street. Oh, I love that place. The chef lets me take octopus hearts home for my dogs. Oh, lucky. 
How many dogs do you have? Oh, too many. Three. That's how many I have. Oh. All right, wait, uh, quick question. How do you keep them off the bed? I gave up. I sleep on the floor. Me too. It's, it's better, better for, for your, your back. back. <laughs> wow. Well, nice meeting you. What are you doing? She's walking away. I got nervous. She eats octopus balls and she sleeps on the floor. She's the perfect woman. Oh, God. Hey! Sorry. I was aiming at somebody else, but now that I have your attention, Charles. He was aiming at a terrible criminal. He probably saved the world. Do you want to have Taki at the on, on the bench over there? Sure. I was hoping you'd ask. What is going on? Gina and I are casual lovers. No. Yeah. Ew. How long has this been going on? We hooked up once last summer, and then the nightmare started again about a month ago. Ever since then, it's been Orgasm City. Ugh. Yeah. Ew. Ugh, gross, right, guys? Charles, what are you doing here? I'm so close to getting you out of this. They're putting their coats on. Funny story, I was walking home, and I passed a pawn shop, and then I went into a trance, and now I have this engagement ring. No, Charles! Well, I'm gonna go ask Vivian to marry me. Bye. No. <laughs> Oh, Boyle, well, I love that you're trying to step up your sex game, but strength is not your issue. Stop humming, and it does not turn me on when you bend over and back up into me. Whoa, 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 can we slow down? Why? Are you not into this? No, no, no. I, my friends are just in my head. They think it's weird that we don't know anything about each other. Mm, I think it's hot. Totally. I'm glad we're not interested in each other as human beings. <laughs> <laughs> oh! How about if you tell me things about yourself and then I tell you how little I care about them? Okay. Okay, here goes. I'm an only child. Not interested. I was born in Delaware. Who even asked you? Oh, I like this. I don't care what you like. Hmm. But maybe you could tell me one more thing. She's a vegan! What is going on? Okay, so Marcus wrote what you doing right now, then a smiley face blowing a kiss. Oh, he's good. We could say, thinking about you. Oh, forget it, that's stupid. No, Rosa, it's poetry. <sighs> I can't believe I'm Frenching in the closet. I feel like a teenager. I feel like I'm 40 again. Chewing this shisa leaf. It'll give our kissing umami flavor. <sighs> 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 Delicious. Interesting. Yeah, something definitely doesn't add up. Did you know there's a sausage you can drink? What? Are you even talking about the case? Oh, we got distracted. Oh, she has an amazing tongue. Strong, supple, great bud density. Okay, I'm gonna take over the question. Yeah, I'm too close to this. Disgusting eating habits. Hi, Genevieve. I'm just gonna ask you a couple of questions now, and Detective Boyle will just sit there and keep waving at you, I guess. Now then. Oh no, what's this? What is this? <laughs> hey, I checked your phone. There were a hundred texts from Vivian worried about you, a selfie that I can never unsee, and dozens of voicemails. Hey, Chuckle Bunny, it's me. You disappeared last night and you were acting weird and, and I'm worried it's because I'm moving too fast. I really want to see you and I know it's 3 a.m., but we should feed each other falafel in our underwear. Uh, okay. I know it when I hear it. She's full boil. Full boil for boil. I took the liberty of texting her and telling her to come meet you here. I thought you might want to give her this. Or something considerably nicer. That is definitely not platinum. You really think this is a good idea? Buddy, I honestly don't know, but you're definitely not going to scare her off. I say do whatever makes you happiest. Jakey, you're the best. Ah. Your body is trembling like a leaf. I'm so excited. Yes. 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 Oh, Charles is engaged. You handled this really well, Peralta. I take back what I said about you being immature. Oh, apology accepted, fart monster. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is turning into a live sex show. Yeah, let's go. Oh no, I wasn't saying it in a bad way. Jake! Yep. 